Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, today, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the elemental energy reading for November of 2024 for the element of air. Uh, if you have never had your charts read or you're interested to see a little deeper version of it if you would like, there's a link in the description to a natal chart. It gives you the base uh, 12 houses where all the placements are and everything. And then it gives you 10 to 20 pages of really good information about the chart itself. It also gives your elemental alignment, whether you're air, earth, fire, water, dominant. Uh, so if you're interested in that, it's linked in the description. Also, any of the cards or decks or books that I'm using are linked as down below as well. And there's also a video if you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac. It's all down there. All that good stuff's down in the, in the description. So we'll get started with the I Ching. I cast the hexagram before we started the video. And for Air 2024 in November, we have number three. So um, this one has an interesting title. Doesn't sound too fun, but we'll see what comes out of this. We have difficulty, and it is difficulty followed by sublime success. Persistence in a righteous course brings reward. Do not seek some new goal or destination. It is highly advantageous to consolidate the present position. So what I'm hearing for this just to start with before we get into the breaking it down, this is a good time to stay focused on the things you already have going. Don't add any more irons to your fire. It's just not not a good time for that. Definitely stay focused on where you're at, what you're doing in this moment. Don't worry about what other projects could be added in. Those are not necessary, and they're actually advising against that right now. So stick to the things that you've got going on right now. And I'm also hearing this is also a good time to reconnect with family or those that inner circle because they're going to be your support system this month. So let's hop on down to our first line down here, our foundation. Uncertainty prevails. It is best to make no move, but to build up determination and consolidate your position. So this is saying just because you're not sure if you're doing the right thing or you're not really, there's, there's something that you're just not feeling confident in. That's where that uncertainty prevails, meaning this, to start off this month, kind of the foundation energy with this month is things may not always be what they seem, and that's where that uncertainty comes in, and it's best to make no move, build up determination, and consolidate, your, um, pos consolidate the position. It's saying don't get distracted by the new and shiny. Deal with what you've got going on right now because adding that one more thing in is not going to benefit you. They're saying that this is that time to really exercise your divine will and connect in with your higher self, your God source divine energy, and look at the project you're working on or whether it's building a real better relationship, building a business, or whatever it is you're working on. Put your effort and energy into the continuation of that. It is not worth adding in or trying to jump horses midstream like oh well maybe if I switch it and do it this way they don't do that they're really being loud with stick with what you're doing changing right now is not going to be a benefit so our second line he makes no more progress covers no more distance than a mounted man trotting to and fro his hesitation is due not only not to an obstacle but to his wooing a girl who is chastely repulsing his advances and waits 10 years before giving her consent. Okay, so that one's a lot. Let's see what they have a footnote here. Um, where are we at? If the inquiry concerns matrimony, this passage may be taken to mean the lady will not be in a hurry to consent. Otherwise, it indicates a willing delay will be well rewarded after a time. So, just like I said with the last line, this is just not the time to push forward with adding something new. When it talks like, uh, where's that? He's trying to woo this person in the verse, 
and she repulses him for 10 years. He's trying to add something new into his life and it's just not the right time for that. But if you take the time and really put the effort into perfecting what you have going, then the reward will come because you've already put the time and effort into building something worth worth building. So our third place line, pursuing a deer without a guide, the hunter finds himself lost in the forest. The superior man perceives that he must stay where he is as going forward will lead him to trouble. Going it alone, I can do this, I don't need anybody, is not going to be a good thing. And if you do happen to be in a situation where I've done this alone for so long and I'm kind of lost, what do I do? This is where you push pause on what you're doing and you seek help. You seek a guide. Ask someone who's been there, who's done that. Not sure what my problem is tonight (laughs) or today. Um, But this is that the superior man already knows. I hit a wall. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to seek help. You're not going to keep pushing forward because that's just going to get you more lost or more into a problem. So that's where we're at there. So our fourth place line right here. Hesitating like a man trotting to and fro, he waits for marriage. Therefore, sorry, thence force forth. Good grief. Good fortune will prevail and every action prosper. This is where doing the right, keep doing what you're doing in this moment. Don't add new things. Don't pursue new things. The rewards, in this case, the verse it talks about being marriage. But good fortune prevails. Every action prospers because you're putting the effort into perfecting the thing that you are working on now. And that's what God's source divine is bringing in is you want to do all these great things, Air. You want to build. You want to grow. You want to expand. You want to had it all in yesterday but that's not working this month this month is really saying pump the brakes a little bit this is a time of kind of to quiet down the chaos around perfect the things that you're working on and once they're perfected you'll notice that adding those next things in will be much much easier so our fifth place line Fertility cannot easily be brought about. Persistence in small things brings good fortune. In greater matters, it will bring disaster. This is where they're talking about do the things and perfect the things you're already working on. Do not add extras to your plate right now. Because if you start looking really big picture and start adding all that big stuff in, it says in great in greater matters, it will bring disaster. You're going to overwhelm yourself and your body's going to be like, we're done. Time to catch a cold. <laughs> You're settling down. So wor- don't worry about the big stuff right now. Work on getting the, th- the small stuff perfected. It's interesting because this is saying the difficult part and what I'm hearing is for air, your biggest difficulty with this is not trying to add everything else in. It's staying focused on the projects you have and taking them to completion in a perfected way not adding in more or adjusting midstream they're really being adamant stick with what you're doing just because you see a shiny object over there doesn't mean you need to chase it so our capstone here he hesitates like a man trotting to and fro or like one shedding blood and tears so it's basically saying if you continue to chase all these new things you're going to wear yourself out um when you pause and take a t- moment, you can actually figure out what's going on. If there's something that's not lined up, you can adjust m- little things. Um, and if it's working, great. But if you're tr- you're uh, trotting to and fro, shedding you know blood and tears, that means that you're wearing yourself out. F- or you're worse. I can't talk. Wearing yourself out chasing shadows that are not going to end up working out in your favor, and that is not going to be a good thing that is going to make difficulty even bigger going through this next month so let's hop over to the cards and see what they have to say and i read for uh, each week there's approximately four weeks in november so we'll go with four and i read a guide or guardian um, a guide there to help you through the week a guardian to keep the unwanted things away And then a message from source, which is a positive affirmation or reassurance. And then a lesson or challenge from the tarot. A lesson is something to work on or 
the challenge can be something that's unseen that might be popping in. Um, and just a little caveat, I read week to week, so one, two, three, four. If your month happens to be out of order, that is totally fine. The messages come through as they come through, and Source knows who, who gets to hear what or who needs to hear what. So, your first week's guide or guardian is the Angels of Composure. And this is saying, you know how to appear in this world. Air, you of all of the elements, you know how to be very, very upfront and you know how to present yourself in the best possible way and in the best possible manner. And these angels are coming in saying, you don't need to, you notice he's got a sword sitting down here. You don't need to go to battle this month. This is not a time to conquer the world. This is a week or this month is really about taking a step back and planning ahead. The other part with this is when you're working on your composure, you're quieting the inner chaos and you're getting a little bit more um, control or reining in some errant emotions that might be a little bit aggressive right now. So what this first week is really helping, wanting you to work on or helping you with is finding your composure even in the midst of difficulty or chaos, which is probably not a bad idea considering <laughs> the world right now is totally chaotic anyway. So, uh, your second, or your message from source is to confide. Find the person that is your confidant, your trusted comforter. What I'm hearing with this is your inner circle is going to be invaluable to you this month. So, find that one person. It could be one or two, but they're focusing more on one person who you know you can be vulnerable with, to ex be open with. And that's what that composure is. When you're out in the world, you compose yourself as a professional and you can do the jobs and nothing really bothers you and you can handle all these problems. But they're saying that that's great for out here. But when you start getting in here, it's time to start cycling through some of the things that are coming up. And that's going to be a little bit more complicated because Air, emotions are not your thing. You'd much rather f try to, you know, calculate it out or think it through or analyze it. But what I'm hearing is with the emotional side that could be coming forward this month, it's really important to talk to someone you trust that they can, you know, bounce ideas back and forth and you can work through it because you don't have to do it all yourself. That's like with the I Ching, it says going out in the woods without a guide gets lost, keeps searching, but the superior person holds up and is like, where am I at? What am I doing? How can I get help? And that's what this uh, message is coming in is find that person that you know you can connect with and just, you know, if you need to vent it off, vent it off. This is the time for that. Source is saying, kind of laughingly, I'm giving you permission. You're okay to talk about your emotions. You don't have to look at everything through the lens of an an analysis and logic. You're a human being. Allow yourself to feel. So, See how that works out for you this first week, and can, but make sure you're with someone you can trust to talk about. Your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the two of autumn, bringing fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs, an exceptional talent for multitasking. Air, you have a talent and a gift, a huge one, for being able to handle a lot of things. You can deal with stress really well, but this is a little going to be a bit of a challenge for you this first week. It's not necessary. What I'm hearing is, yes, you can do this. Yes, you're fully capable of handling anything life throws at you. You even add things into the mix because it's fun. But that's not the goal this first week. It's to regain composure. It's to regain connection with yourself, with your soul, and your emotions in this first week. So really pay attention to gentling that need for chaos, that need to add more in. It's not really going to benefit you this month is what I'm hearing. So... Um, let's see what your second week's guide or, or guardian is. I love it when they are, my guides will be like showing me images or giving me information and then all of a sudden they should turn it off like a faucet. Like, okay, mid-sentence, that's cool. Um, <laughs> your second week's guide or guardian is, um, are the angels of power and intention. Your strength is in logic and reason, Air, and that is beautiful. This week, setting those goals, setting those plans 
is your power. Being able to put those intentions into the universe for things you already are working on, things you're already completing. Because what I'm hearing with this one is with your work towards setting those goals, setting those intentions, building that uh, life that you're working on, with what you have right now, put the intention out there that I want to take this to its cleanest conclusion, to its best possible outcome. When you work in that environment, it allows you to actually perfect the things that you're working on without the distraction of adding new things in. Because that's, again, they're saying that is not, not, not this month, not the time for it. Next month maybe, but right now, it's time to slow things down and focus on just the things that you're currently in the middle of. Your message from source is commitment. You've already committed to the things in your life. I love this picture in the in the rain bubble or in the teardrop. You've already committed to things in your life. You've already set yourself up for these successes. Put the effort into making them the best possible outcomes you can do. When you look into this picture, you're seeing the joy and the possibility of a commitment, and it's a delicate thing. The commitment is this little bubble. You know how easy it is to splash one of those? And that's what it's saying is your commitment to these goals, dreams, and ambitions this month could be a little bit, it's in a gentle state. So you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing by those commitments and not adding more in because adding more in could kind of make a mess out of stuff. So you want to stay focused on the right stuff this month. Your um, <laughs> second or week's lesson or challenge, it's another two, is the two of winter. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choices that are best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between intellectual and the emotional er, uh, air. You're in a really delicate place this month because you have this desire and it's almost like you're wanting to run away from the emotional side of things. So if I run to uh, um, analytical or the logical, I can suppress my emotions. And what they're really wanting you to focus on this month is bringing your emotions forward, healing any wounds that are there. And that's going to allow you to perfect what needs to be perfected, to bring the projects you're working on to their best possible outcome. And that's also going to allow you to support those around you in the best possible way. Source wants you to step into the place of the best version of you. And the best way to do that is to incorporate the emotional side as well as that really beautiful logical and analytical side that air tends to have so this is this first two weeks they're showing me is kind of bringing everything together and connecting at a deeper level so your third week's guide or guardian is take charge and action and this is where you step into the role of growth the role of expansion you're taking a lot more action the first two weeks were more internal work, trying to get your uh, emotions sort, sorted out, getting the reins on the things so that you can stay focused on what is important. This week is a little bit more about action and movement. And sometimes taking charge is taking charge of procrastination or taking charge of needing to be the one that everyone comes to for an answer. That's fine and dandy, but this week is saying, Take control of the fact that you don't need to be in control of everyone else. You're in control of this, this little bubble right here around you, the skin suit that we are wearing. This is you. Outside of you is things that are, for the most part, outside of your control. So when you take charge, it's taking charge of, okay, so I've sorted my emotions. I'm going to keep those under a little bit more rain. I'm not going to say yes to everything. So you know when to know what your boundaries are and what your barriers are. And they're saying that this is not going to be a across the board change for air, but it's definitely going to be something that you can start practicing more so that you don't get overwhelmed and you don't approach a burnout stage. Interesting way of phrasing that. Um, your message from source for this third week is decision. It is your decision when you start to take charge and you start making those changes and you start implementing those actions, you've made a decision in connection with your guides, with your higher self, with God, Source Divine, to implement a better path. When you are making decisions down here, this is what you're planning for. 
you're planning for that beautiful future, the one that you've been whoops, looking towards, working towards, hunting out, because you know that you have these visions and dreams and goals that are massive, and this month is saying you're building a foundation. You don't want to jump ahead, and you don't want to start building the walls before the concrete on the floor is set, and that's the part that they're wanting to make sure you're hearing why they keep repeating it <laughs> is don't jump ahead in the story you there's you've made the decisions to do the things that you're doing right now that's that commitment energy as well so do finish the projects that you're on perfect the things that you're working on take everything to its best possible outcome and that is going to help you as a person build and expand your energy field and it also is going to tap you into a deeper part of yourself so this this month is a little bit about outer and inner world i'm hearing some cool stuff so your message lesson or challenge is the six of autumn the good you do comes back to you an unexpected inflow of money borrowing wisely or repaying a debt so this by doing the right things by setting those commitments and sticking to them by making the decision to work towards the best possible outcome that's where you were bringing this good that you're doing is going to re um, reflect back. So this third week, they're saying you're going to notice there's a shift that is starting to occur. You're still doing all of the extras that you normally would do because you've already made commitments to those. But by staying more focused on the important parts of your life, the important parts of growth, of change, of expansion, but you're doing it with stuff you already are working on, that is going to, you're going to start to see the rewards of that. And it may not be big stuff. It might be just that coworker that's always asking you for help suddenly doesn't need to ask you anymore because you are not in a situation where you're going to entertain it anymore. You've set that boundary. You've made that decision. Your commitment is to growing your position, but your commitment is not to enabling someone who knows how to do the job. And that's what, I'm hearing with this. So the six of autumn is saying, because you're putting in the time, the effort to build everything and take it to its best logical conclusion, this you're going to start seeing the rewards of it in or around the third week. We'll see. And let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on that. So your fourth week's guide or guardian is the angels of self-acceptance. You've went through the month here looking to build, to grow, to deepen your connection with yourself, to complete projects. And sometimes when you start to look inward and you start to examine those emotions and you start to poke at those things, and I'm not saying to like rip band-aids off, allow what is ready to come forward to come forward because you don't want to go poking around where you don't need to be. <laughs> sometimes your emotions are stuffed away for a reason, but when you're starting to on these journeys, you're looking to see what's available. What do I need to work on in this moment? And that's a good way when you're in meditation to ask the question, Ask your guides, ask your higher self, ask your inner child, what are we ready to work on today? What is the energy that I need to come to terms with, examine, um, unravel as to why I act that way or why that word, phrase, person triggers that response in me? Ask how, what are we ready to look at now? You don't have to go digging for it. It will always come to the front. <laughs> and when it comes up, that's when you can start to work on that self-acceptance. This month is really about working the inner and outer world together. Because when you do that, self-acceptance becomes almost like it just happens at that point. And it's not an egocentric one where I am better than so-and-so down the street because I can do this. It's, you know what? I'm better than I was yesterday. I understand more about who I am. And that allows me to step forward in confidence and be able to do, my, be a better spouse, be a better parent to my children, be a better child to my parents, be a better coworker, supervisor, or however it works. Because when you understand more about who you are, you understand what you bring to the table, where you're at in all of that. And you can also see the path to growth that is your next steps. So the message from source is energy. By the end of the month, your energy is going to pick up because you've already done a lot of the work. Your energy levels are going to increase. And they're also saying that this is a vibrational shift. So you're bringing in more light because you're willing to do the work. You're willing to put in the effort to take things to their highest 
uh, conclusion. And as you're taking them to your, their conclusion, it's actually elevating you. It's actually expanding the glow that you carry. And that goes back into your self-acceptance as well. So this, the messages that are coming in for this last week of the month are really beautiful because it's saying you've done the work, you've worked through some stuff, you've stayed focused on the things that you've committed to, you've made decisions about what to, how to move forward and what to maybe say no to. And that's completely good to say no once in a while. And that's allowed you to build the energy and momentum going forward into the winter months. So let's take a peek at our last week's um, got a lesson or challenge. We have the King of Summer, honorable, devoted, mature, and warm-hearted, a romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice comes from the heart, getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. By the end of the month, you're going to step into all of these words up here. <laughs> They're saying that the lesson kind of a themed lesson for this month was helping you develop into a higher aspect of yourself, helping you understand how to be more honorable with your interactions where you can say no and it's acceptable because that is the honorable thing to do. You've become more devoted to finishing the projects that you started and not adding extras. It's matured you. And they're saying with the warm hearted part, this shift that is being brought forward is going to deepen your connection to your spouse, to your children, to that inner circle, your foundational strength. Your home is so important to helping keep you focused and grounded. And thus, by the end of this month, what they're saying is this is the time to come back together. What you've been doing this month is saying no to the outside, finding a new balance between outer and inner worlds but really focusing on bringing some of the inner world into a much more calm and, as the card says, matured state so that you can be the best version of yourself as you complete the projects and bring them to their best. It's actually opening you up and unlocking you to your best potential. So with that, I will let you guys go. Have a great month of November. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and like I said, comment. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions, and I will see you in the next video.